How you doing guys? Welcome to episode one, like episode minus one of the Rust series and check out this intro which is absolutely fucking amazing made by Chris Whippet. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode and check out the link in the description below for this guy's intro. It is dope. How you doing guys? It's Josh and today we are taking a first look at the Rust pre-release which is scheduled for release on July the 7th. At this moment in time we are currently playing on a modded server um, which is called Intoxicated um, which is currently available on the server browser. What this video is going to be is we're going to be taking a look at some of the new features which are available in Rust. This is a highly anticipated update which a lot of people have been waiting for. Um, as you can see um, straight away we've got a brand new UI update which is in the bottom left down there which is our EXP and level system. There's a lot of other things that have been included in this update such as uh, quick crafting, hit scan projectiles, um, UI tweaks in the main menu, you've got some level up notices, sentry guns and apparently pigs that can walk through ores. Um, and then also some adjustments to how many materials it takes for us to create things. So the first thing I'm going to go into is the uh, the level XP system, which a lot of people have been waiting for. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to I don't actually know how we get levels up at the moment. Uh, this looks like quite an uh, like a down populated server. So if you look at the bottom left here we can actually see my XP bar is going up. We've got some cool little particle effects that show that my XP is going up as we hit these things. Now, my XP is staying at zero. I'm not quite sure if that's meant to happen, um, but we'll soon find out, I guess. I do quite like the the little particle bubble things that are, that are coming up there. And as you can see, we can see our progress as we're hitting this tree. And it looks like the next hit is going to level us up, of which we should get a sexy little notification up on the screen. Boom. 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 So not only have we been notified that we have leveled up, we've also been notified about the new things that we have unlocked when we've leveled up. So that looks to me like... Um, now, instead of us getting blueprints, maybe, um, we've got to, well, I'm not quite sure. It looks like instead of getting blueprints, we now are able to unlock things by leveling up, which is actually really cool. I oh, know, I see what happens here. So I've got one XP point. This is locked right now. So you can spend your XP to unlock these items. So my fish trap is going to cost 1 XP and I can unlock that by clicking unlock for 1 XP and now I can create a fish trap so long as I have the correct materials. So that is a quick look over the level XP system and now we're going to have a quick look at the quick crafting. So as we can see right now um, obviously I'm level 2 I've got 1 XP that I can spend um, I could do with a fireplace. Now, if I hit tab, obviously I can go into the crafting section, and there's a lot of UI changes which I'm going to go through in a second, but on the right hand side we have got quick craft. Now what this is, is it's showing me a bunch of things that I'm able to create with the materials that I've got on me. Now, obviously it's becoming night time, so I could really do with a fireplace, so it's really cool. I can really just go to fireplace, click on it, and it started crafting. So I can now see that in 26 seconds, I'm going to be able to get a fireplace. And it's quite cool because it's automatically telling me what I can make with the materials that I've got on me instead of me, you know, scrolling through a bunch, uh, like a huge list of shit that I can create. Um, the only thing I'm not liking at the moment is I find it really mundane and irritating to have to walk up to things and hit them with a fucking rock every single time I wanted my materials. And until the time I, at which I hit level 3, I can't even unlock a stone pickaxe or a stone hatchet. However, I can unlock other things which will more than likely help me. And that's not to say that I can't just walk around, find something uh, like a crate or something and actually get a stone pickaxe or a stone hatchet out of those. 
So now my fireplace has finished being created, so I can just go ahead and, uh, okay, building blocked. Just go ahead, pop that down, light my campfire. There we go, isn't this cute? So wonderful. So, see if there's anything new has been done here. Now, there is a lot of UI, uh, UI tweaks which has been implemented into the game. Obviously, we can see the level thing on the bottom left-hand side. But when we hit tab, we've also got this new crafting system here where we can search for things of which we want to be able to create. Um, everything's split into categories, um, which is all good and well. We can create a note. So that's quite cool. Um, and then obviously when you go into it you can see the things that you can craft if you have the resources what is locked because I haven't unlocked it yet and then also if it if I want to find something what is upcoming so these items will be available when you reach the specified level so that's just the UI tweaks the quick crafting and the level XP system and next up, we're going to take a look at hit scan projectiles. But before we do that, I need to find a gun. So I'll be back with you in just a moment. All right, guys, here we go. So we've got our main man here giving us some assault rifle, inf uh, some assault rifles and balties. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to have a quick look at the new hit space stuff. Um, and we're going to see what these now look like. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop off a couple of rounds in that general direction and we're going to go see, have a look now at how far the bullets are traveling. So basically the old, um, the old way that these bullets used to work is that bullets used to travel really slow which used to be really shit at short range combat and CQB but really good in long range combat because you could see where your bullets are landing but apparently this has now changed. I have not looked at this yet, so I'm going to go ahead and shoot over here and see what happens. So as you can see, these bullets are now hammering it across. I usually used to be able to see the tracer actually flying across, but now that does not happen whatsoever. So it looks like it's going to be a lot more realistic. So if we just do some close range shooting real quick and we just shoot up against this wall. Everything's a lot more smooth. Obviously, I think they've actually increased the recoil a lot on these weapons. So now let's have a quick look at the Balti. The Balti, as, you'd be able to, as you'd remember, um, I'll probably end up showing something in the top, hand right, up top right hand side of the screen just here so that you can see what it used to look like. I'll put a little picture in picture up there. So you can see what it used to look like and what it looks like now. So obviously, you cannot see that bullet fly whatsoever. So if we just go again. So you cannot see those bullets whatsoever. And that is absolutely fucking gorgeous. So that's the new um, hit space projectiles or projectile hit space. It's very, very, very interesting. That's one thing that I used to hate about Rust was getting into gunfights. And now things are starting to pick up a lot more which is something that I really like the look of. Now, I'm pretty sure that I have not seen that before. So, the the sparks coming off the... Look at that. That looks really nice. Anyway, that's that. That's all checked out. Um, not really sure what else there is to cover on it, but let's go on to the next part. Okay, and uh, next up I want to take a quick look at this crossbow. Um, this may have been in before uh, before I recorded this video, but it genuinely feels new. So I'm pretty sure that I've just seen somebody. And I really want to go find them so that I can go plow a crossbow bolt straight through their eye. There we go. So I've never seen this crossbow before. So I'm going to very quickly just shoot that guy. Boom. That is actually pretty funky. I'm not going to lie. I like it. And I like it a lot. Oh, no. Sorry, mate. I'll take his crossbow. Take all his loot. Oh, yeah, I like that crossbow, though. Is this new? Comment below. Okay, okay. So, another part 
of which I did not realise, which I've just found out after being in a little fight with a naked guy with a really small penis, is previously in the in, in old Rust, we were able to throw things like rocks and weapons and stuff like that, but they've changed that now. So if I hold down right click, my guy goes into a stance of, hey, I'm going to do it. I'm going to throw it at you. And then if you hold left click, you fucking lob it. Like, honestly, this guy's got some proper muscles of steel right there. Like, he literally, like, he is absolutely on it. He's all over this shit. So I'm just going to throw it at this house. Oh, I missed. Oh, for the love of Christ. Right, okay, let me just try that again because I'm not able to, you know, show off my superior strength. Oh, strong. So strong. But yeah, anyway, I just thought I'd very quickly cover over the fucking, like, you know, throwing mechanics. Um, Yeah, I'm still looking for a gun. So all of this was recorded before the gun part to do the hitscan projectiles. But fuck it. This is going to be like the most random video order of your life. So, yeah, we've now switched to a new server called rust respawn uh so make sure you guys check that out i've got a guy on here that i know quite well skyline gtst so shout out to you buddy um yeah so hopefully we find a gun pretty soon um peace okay so one of the last things is the reworks that i did not go through when i was doing these videos um so the first thing that i want to go to is for some reason it's switching constantly is this airfield one obviously they've done quite a lot of work on reworking a lot of the zones here we've got another version of the airfield they've they've really gone in there and planted some new buildings to give it that to change that back again to give it that real rust look um which is really nice so you've obviously got the air aircraft control towers they've now got two runways everything just looks a lot more um realistic looks a lot more rusty um, which I really like. Like I think this looks really professional. It looks really immersive. That's pretty cool. Um, the next thing that they looked at was this new body armor, um, which is really funky, really heavy duty. Um, and then they've also got this bone armor as well, which is come from the concept art, which is really, really nice. All right, guys, so that is pretty much it. Thank you very much for watching the first ever video to come on this channel. And I hope this guy's given you a bit more insight into DevVlog117, what's to come in the new update. Make sure you guys check back onto the channel because we will be starting a new Rust series, which is going to be however many episodes fit into a series before each wipe. Uh, make sure you check the description to meet Visitor Alice or whatever his fucking name is to go check out his server. And hopefully that's where I'm going to be staying for quite a while. Uh, but thank you again, guys. Make sure you comment, make sure you rate and subscribe. Um, and yeah, I hope to see you in the next episode. Thank you very much for watching. See you later.